The te form, used to join or list verbs, used as a base for many expressions, and it's the first difficult grammar point you might encounter after starting to learn Japanese. Because of this, it's worth spending some time and really mastering how to conjugate the te form. The first step that you need to go, need to know, is how to determine verb type. There's two types of verbs that we're looking at, and we're going to be looking at them from the must form. First of all, how many characters are there before must? If there's only one character before must, for example, imas, kimas, or mimas, then it's an ichidan verb. If there's more than one character before must, we look at the sound of the character directly before must. There's three examples here on the right. Tazunemas, kotaemas, and tabemas. In these examples, the character before must makes an e sound. So, because of that, we know it's ichidan. If it doesn't meet either of those criteria, then it's godan. There are a few exceptions, and I'll show you just one of them now. Okimas. Okimas can mean to get up or to put. To get up is ichidan. That's irregular. It should be godan based on the rules we just learnt. You just need to learn these irregular ones as you go, and there's not too many of them. Now let's do some practice determining verb type. I'll show you some verbs, and you pause the video and see if you can work out what type it is as we go. Oshiemas, Ichidan, Kikimas, Godan. Asobimas, Godan, Mimas, Ichidan, Yomimas, Godan, Tabemas, Ichidan, Hanashimas. That's Godan. How did you go? If you're feeling comfortable with that, you're ready to move on and learn how to conjugate. Good luck with your Japanese.